Hey, and welcome to Vid Society. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about ChatGPT and I'm gonna be showing you an extension that I've been using that allows me to use ChatGPT no matter where I'm at online to create anything I want to. And it also replies to Gmail emails for me, making my job a whole lot easier. So I'm gonna show you exactly how all this is done in this video. And so here we are on ChatGPT's website. Now you do have to be logged into your account for this to work. Now they're saying ChatGPT is going to be subscription based here soon. When that does, this whole process may change some, but I'll be making updated videos along the way. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to jump over to my Gmail account. Now, for those of you who don't follow my channel, uh, I've been doing YouTube full time since 2013 for affiliate marketing, promoting products and services for other companies and businesses and making a full time living from it. And this is one of my folders where I get requests to promote products for companies and in exchange, they send me the products for free and sometimes pay me for them as well. Now, if you notice over here on the right hand side, I get these emails every day, sometimes multiple emails every day, and it becomes a hassle trying to reply to all of these emails. But it really doesn't matter the type of email you're replying to because you can tell this extension what to do and it's going to write a reply based upon the email you received and what you're telling it to reply. So let's look at this. I have a product down here I've already marked and if I go in here and click in it, you're going to see here this is a collaboration request for a product called Pet Snowy. And this is a self-cleaning litter box. I looked this thing up on Amazon. It's over $500. And what they want to do is they want to send me the product for free in exchange to do a review on it. And so I want to reply to them in a friendly, casual way and let them know that I'm interested in doing this. So instead of me writing out a long email about this, what I can do is I can go install this extension called ChatGPT Writer. And you can find this at chatgptwriter.ai. Uh, as of right now, it is a free extension. And if you click on download free extension, it's going to take you to the Chrome store where you can download it. Now, once you download it, it's going to be up here underneath of your extensions. And if you click on this icon, you want to click on this pin button here. And that's actually going to pin this to the bar up here at the top. So you don't have to search for it under your extensions icon. It's just right here ready to use. So the way this works is let's go ahead and do a reply. And down here at the bottom, you're going to see this icon now shows up under the reply. So if I click on that, it's going to bring up this box. And in this box, it's going to include the email that they sent me. And the reason it includes this email is because it tells ChatGPT what this email is about so they know how to reply. Now there's another box down here and this is what you're going to tell it you want it to reply about. And then it's going to take that along with the content in this email and create a really good reply. Now they do have some examples here. If you click on that, it can show you some examples. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill this box out. Okay, so here's what I wrote. I put write a reply to this email and tell them in a friendly and casual way that I would be interested in working with them. Tell them it may take a while to get to the video because I am backed up. So we're going to go ahead and click on generate reply. And by the way, while it's doing this, if you guys want to learn how I do this, how I get all these products for free and how I make a full time living from YouTube, um, go to vidsociety.com, put your email address in there because I'm releasing a full course on this in about a month and I will email you when that releases. Okay, so here it goes. It connected to my chat GPT account and now it's writing out the email. Let me just drag this box make it bigger. We're going to minimize this. It says, hi Ari. Thanks for reaching out. I'm definitely interested in working with the Pet Snowy team. Your product sounds really cool and I think it'd be a great fit for my audience. I apologize for the delay in getting back to you, but I've been a bit backed up with other projects. I'll definitely take a look at the PDF you attached so that it, it even knows there was a PDF document attached to this Gmail and let you know if I have any questions. Thanks again for considering me for this opportunity. And then I can click on insert generated response, and then just replace this with my name. And if I want to, I can touch up the email some more. If not, no big deal. And so you can do this with any type of an email, any type of a response. You just tell it how you want to respond and what you want included in it. And it writes it out for you in a very professional way that I could never do myself.
Now, when it creates this email, it syncs up this content to your ChatGPT account. So if you come back over to ChatGPT, and if I click on refresh, you're gonna see that there's now a new chat here. And this is the new chat that it just um, replied to. And you can see what it did. This is the content that I gave it or the prompt. This is the email it included in it. And then it wrote its reply right here. So what you could even do is if you're not quite happy with this and if you want more added to it, you could come back to your chat GPT account, go into this conversation and tell it something else to do down here. Because as long as you continue on this one here, instead of clicking on any of these others or starting a new one, it's going to remember all the content you have here and it's going to continue expanding on it or doing whatever you tell it to do based on this initial content. Now, the other thing that I use this for, let me just open up another window. Let's say we're here on Google or really any other website and something comes up and let's say, oh yeah, I forgot to make a Twitter post today and I need to give them an update on something. Well, you can come up here and click on this extension and leave this message content part out. Just leave it empty. And down here at the bottom, you can enter any prompt just like you do if you're directly on chat GPT and it'll create that for you. So let's say, for example, you're, you're writing an article on your website or you're creating a YouTube video and you're thinking about uh, what should I title it? So you could come down here and write something like this. So I put in here, give me 10 titles for a YouTube video about a new YouTube course I'm releasing in a month. OK, and if I click on uh, generate response, uh, it's going to go out here and it's going to give me 10 ideas for titles that I can use for my YouTube video based around this. And then I can take one of these, go to YouTube, and then I can use it. So I can load this up if I'm on YouTube.com. I can tell it to create a title for me. I can tell it to create a description for me. Um, if I'm on Twitter, I can tell it to create a social post for me based around something specific, and it's going to do that. So just to give you an example, let's say that I'm on Twitter, and I want to write a new uh, status update. So I can say, so I put in here, write a Twitter post for my followers, letting them know I'll be releasing a new YouTube course soon. Click on generate response and it's going to go out and it's going to create that post for us. And what's really cool is if you specify it to write a Twitter post, it even puts in hashtags for you in this. So you can just come down here, copy the response and paste it in your Twitter post. If you want to write an article, you can simply tell it to write an article. So basically it's just an extension that attaches to your GPT account that you can use anywhere, just over top any website. So at any instant, if you think, oh yeah, I need something about this, but I don't know how to write it. You click on the extension, enter your content here and bam, you have it super easy to use. And as of right now, it is free. I don't know how that's going to change whenever chat GPT becomes subscription based, but right now these tools are amazing and very helpful. Now, if you like these types of videos and want more information on ChatGPT, be sure to check out some of the other videos on my channel. In fact, a lot of them, I show you how I create scripts for videos and use other AI tools to create videos that I upload to my YouTube channels to bring in a lot of traffic and affiliate commissions. And if you want notified when I put out more videos based around ChatGPT or making money online, subscribe to my channel and I'll let you know. That's it for this video, guys. Have a great day.